Hi guys, I'm Afro Leray and welcome to Divine Goddess Healing. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am going to channel a general love reading in the month of August for the sign Libra. So um, thank you for being here. Before we get started, I want us to center ourselves a little bit. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. Just listen to the sound. Let's get started. So the sign Libra in love for the month of August. Where are your energies, Libra? We have giving and receiving. We also have rebuild. And we have feeling alone. So for the month of August, your energies you're currently, I think, I, I feel that you are trying to find balance with around the concept of giving and receiving in regards to relationships. We have the number six for relationships, partnerships, um, and this could even be with friends, family. I mean, it, it really, the list goes on and on because I think this is um, something that you've dealt with all your life and all your relationships and you give so much that it it leaves you feeling depleted it leaves you feeling alone because you're always there for everyone else and you're always shining the light for other people you're always leading other people but you feel like no one's leading you you feel really just kind of out in the cold and sometimes you're just lost you don't know where to go or how far to allow this to take you. So I think you're you're really kind of in the hermit energy here. And I, I see you really going inwards and, and learning how to rebuild yourself, to give more to yourself, to, because I see her holding her heart chakra with both hands and we've got these angel wings. So you may be asking for assistance from your spirit guides, your angels, um, to help you with this, or I would ask, you know, if you're not doing this already, you definitely should, you know, um, meditate and, and really ask for assistance because you have gone through a major tower moment and it hasn't broken you. It may feel like it has, um, at certain times, but you are rebuilding and the universe is helping you to conspire. It, it's conspiring to help you to rebuild, but you're having to learn to balance this giving and receiving energy, especially in this connection. So how is your partner feeling for you? We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So your partner um, may be codependent on your giving nature. You may have let things slide too many times and in turn, this has actually created a codependency in yourself. Um, always being let down by this person and this person expecting you to give them the okay, the go ahead. And, and you keep waiting on this person. And there's a lot of emptiness. There's a lot of sadness. Um, connected to this card and you may even have been drinking I, I see drinking wine <laughs> we all like wine but um, I see that you've just kind of you, you've been drinking a little more than you should be lately um, but you are being hopeful I do see that you are being hopeful you really just don't know where to go. 
So let's get some advice on that. So what does the universe want you to see? I was going to say want you to see. And it says refusing to see. And there's the number two again for partnership. So there's something that either you're refusing to look at, refusing to acknowledge, or that's just out of your view sight at this time. You're just not allowed to see it yet. But it, with it saying refusing to see, I'm seeing that it's been shown to you. We do have the sun card there and the sun is in this card as well. And she's looking straight at it, but it's like she's still, there's something not being seen by you there's something not being acknowledged and what I think it's you not acknowledging yourself that's what I feel you're you're you've put so many people in front of you for so long that you are refusing to see yourself and your needs and this does not mean to become reactive with people now, sometimes you just have to, if, if people are very um, aggressive with you, sometimes you have to be aggressive back. Like if you try to speak up and this person immediately tries to shut down anything you say, you, you have to speak up. But, um, you know, it doesn't always mean that you have to be aggressive, but you definitely do need to reestablish some balance with yourself here we have observe so again i see this as the giving and receiving card because we've got the four hands here so there may be multiple scenarios or people in your home life or in your work environment or that are that know about this connection, um, whether it has anything to do with the connection or not, which I feel like somehow it all ties together, but you're being asked to really observe and um, really observe, you know, people's motives and observe what people are doing or not doing. Um, observe the imbalance that's happening in these relationships because the more you can keep yourself from jumping to bend over backwards or to please other people, when you can refrain from doing that, you're going to start seeing these people in a different light. You're going to see that these people have become codependent on you. And we see all these people looking at this person, but if you're just standing there observing, they're just waiting for you to do to do something. They're they're looking to you. They're looking at your light. Well, how is she gonna fix this? But it's not yours to fix. Whatever this is with this counterpart or these other people involved, the you need all you need to do is is to observe and to work on yourself and your inner light and your inner happiness and your inner fulfillment. We have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Like I said, the more you can stand back and get into the state of observation, it's going to heal a block in your third eye here. And this is what this card is about, this refusing to see. There's a block in your third eye. So I would even... Um, when you meditate, I would talk to, I would channel Archangel Metatron and ask for assistance with this. Ask for his assistance to help you to unblock your third eye, your, your eye, um, your third eye chakra. Okay, so, um, that's what he's here right now to help with, even through this reading, just trying to reach out to you so that you can understand what's really happening. 
We have rainbow, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. And I see that this person in the middle, that's your energy. And we have this rainbow just shining down through her crown chakra. And you know, in this card here, this is you in the dark holding that lantern, that light, you know, you do, you shine eternally bright, even in the dark. And that's why people are so attracted to you, like moths to a flame. You know what I mean? Like, and you may not be trying to attract these moths. That's the problem. So you need some type of self-protection. You know, you're allowing yourself to be too vulnerable around people that are just depleting your light. And, and it really shows. Um, and it shows in this connection as well, but I see this as a bigger problem that's going on beyond just this connection. So in the month of August, how is this gonna transpire? We have action. And we have the two horses here, the, the um, white and black horse. And we have the number one and seven, so new beginnings. And seven is all about divine action. So together they equal eight, which is all about shift, balance, um, the eternity symbol, and turning darkness into light. So we see the um, the dark horse following the light horse. So it's it's really taking the lead and transforming. So there's going to be some type of divine action that's going to take place in regards to this connection. And it's going to bring things to light for you where you, where you couldn't see before. You're going to be able to see very clearly coming August. So how does your counterpart feel? We have happy family. So this is the number four. It's all about, you know, that's that twin flame card. Um, so this may be a twin flame, um, soulmate, divine counterpart. But either way, this is the vision that they see with you in the month of August. I see that as things transpire and you come into this place of observing and not taking people's problems and trying to solve them yourself, but when you pull your energy back towards yourself and you heal and you rebuild yourself, you're, it's going to drive your partner to change their perspective. They're gonna see things differently and they're gonna wanna work this out with you. They're gonna want to create this beautiful transition from darkness to light. So where there wasn't a commitment before, I feel like they're going to be very highly committed to you in the month of August and you both may have children, you may have children um, even from another partnership or together but they, they see you integrating your families together and it's really beautiful here so we've got oh, we've got caring connections on the bottom of the deck here so this is a very special connection and they do love you a lot i do see them really the more that you can reserve your energy and and give your energy back to yourself and stop um putting it out there you're attracting your partner to step up and um, to step into their masculine energy and to start actually doing more for you, um, giving you little surprises, um, maybe connecting with you a little more, checking on you more often, and um, making efforts to take you out to, to have a real connection here. Oh, we have man holding a heart. Like these are really beautiful energies coming from your partner here. So he, 
the more you're able to really give your energy back to yourself because you've been so depleted, you're taking back your power and they're definitely following suit. They're changing their ways. They're opening up to you. They're actually revealing their vulnerable side to you and they may even express this to you with words they may tell you that they love you if they you know have not done that in a long time or ever you know they might be saying things to you that are shocking to you or you know surprising to you but in a beautiful way like that you just thought you would never hear um there's a really beautiful transformation and shift that's occurring with your partner but first you have to really take it seriously and not keep reaching out not keep um trying to manipulate the situation with words or explaining anything to them the more you can just stand back and observe their behavior and and keep yourself safe you're gonna see them really step it up so that's really beautiful we have door to spirit so spirit has spoken to them i believe that they have spoken to them in dreams um but they're seeing the light they're seeing what this connection is to them and they don't want to lose this connection um when you pull back i feel that they will um really take it to heart and take it serious because they're gonna feel like you're pulling away from them, like this connection is 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 ending. And that's kind of what they need. There's something that they need to see differently and it's really gonna change their perspective on how they see it. So that's really beautiful. So before we go, I'm gonna do a couple more cards. So let's do a lover's oracle card deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right so again like i said there's something you're refusing to see here you know and it regards this energy of this imbalance of give and take and you know you know it's not right you know you don't feel well you know there's something in you that doesn't sit well and you know that's an imbalance in the heart your heart is telling you that you need to be true to you it's it's time for you now because you're worthy you're a good person you have people's best interest at heart so there's no reason why you don't deserve your heart's desire okay so you just need to let go of everyone and everything let them take care of themselves and take care of you. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energies to others. So this is an energy that, you know, this isn't all about healing others or fixing things for others, but it's a receptive energy. So this is an energy that you, hold within you when you are full when you are happy when you're content and when someone comes to you open-heartedly like this here this man with a heart you can be receptive with that light-hearted energy back by being appreciative by being playful with them that's how you thank them you don't have to thank them with you know your words or over explaining or doing you just have to be receptive you just have to be open when they come around you just have to be forgiving you just have to let them know that it's safe to love you so thank you so much for tuning in that was a really sweet reading and um, if you resonate with this reading, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell button for more notifications on any future readings. 
Um, if you'd like to send me a love donation or to receive a personalized reading, if you'd like to get some energy work done, I do light language healing sessions where I clear out any old blocks in your DNA system and ignite dormant light codes that um, will help you ascend into a higher vibration. Um, I do also sell artwork on my Etsy shop, Shamanic Alchemy Art, and it is, all of my art is geared towards union energies. So if you are attracted to something, that's something specifically that your soul needs to um, clear any specific blockages in regards to your union, and you can adorn it in your home, your workspace, your meditation area, and, and focus on it, but those energies will uplift and, and really change your environments in a physical way, in a very expansive way. So all those links are down below. Feel free to check it out. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Have a great day. Bye.